Hi, welcome to Trisha's Makeup World. If you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Trisha and I absolutely love playing with colourful makeup and today I'm going to be playing with Revolution's Mean Girls collection. Uh, this is the palette, it's made to look like the burn book. I'll just open it up to show you. It's very pink leaning. Uh, why I'm wearing pink. <laughs> Wednesdays we wear pink. I do have the one of the liquid lipsticks uh, and it's got like a little R for Regina obviously to emulate her necklace and I think this shade is Karen and I have the little cream blush palette as well and it says you can't sit with us which they say to Regina when she's got her uh, um it's like a tracksuit kind of thing on they're like you can't sit with us <laughs> and they're like she's just like guess you'll be walking home kind of thing um it came out in 2004 uh, it's the year that my daughter was born, uh, so it's about 20 years ago, so I would have been about 28 <laughs> before I was pregnant with her. I was probably dressing very similar to the way they were with the little skirts, we sort of tartan skirts and jumpers and t-shirts. I didn't really wear t-shirts with slogans on it. I was never really, I mean, I did have a lot of Miss Sixty stuff and it maybe had Miss Sixty across the front and I did wear maybe Diesel, but I wasn't into really Von Dutch or any of those why took and anything that said anything stupid on it I didn't really wear anything like that to be honest um but yeah I'm I'm in pink <laughs> uh, I've kept me here straight for the first look um we'll just get stuck right in uh, I think we'll do more probably like a smoky pink look this is my second take doing this video somebody tried to phone me and it totally cancelled out my our oh, video when I was doing it, so annoying. So I'm going into the first shade here, Popular, and I'm just going to tap that in around here like so. And we'll do the same at the other side. We'll maybe do something a little bit more different. And I thought what I could do as well is maybe show some of my outfits that I have that are probably very, yeah, mean girls. I do have a few skirts, a bit like what Gretchen wears, very sort of Burberry looking um, and a lot of pink because I do like pink. Pink pink has always been my favourite colour um, growing up. I've always liked pink. Always. My mum preferred green uh, and would buy a lot of green and I would always be like, oh, it green. <laughs> um, whereas, yeah, the next shade I'm going to go into is this one here and that is called Be Wear Pink, which the, yeah, the state to Katie, you know, we were pink on Wednesday. Um, but it is, it's, a, it's an okay film. It's obviously aimed at teenagers, you know. A bit like, you know, Clueless. Clueless was probably more my era. Um, legally blonde, these kind of things. Um, yeah. I think it was Lindsay Lohan, she played Katie, and then you had Rachel McAdam, she played Regina. She's a bit older than the rest of them, isn't she? Lacey Schomberg, probably pronouncing her second name wrong, that was in Party of Five. She plays Gretchen, and then you've got Amanda Siegfried, again, I'm probably saying her second name wrong. I just know that she was in Mamma Mia. Uh, she plays Karen. Uh, and I'm now going to go into... Just take another brush. I think we'll go into this one up here, and that is called Plastic Switch. They are re referred to that from Janice. The plastics. Uh, and Janice obviously had a, a big falling out with Regina when they were younger, and that is why she wants Katie to basically take her down. Um, and that is what it just starts to happen to begin with, but then obviously Katie gets right into being a plastic and wanting to basically take over. I think we'll go into the darker one down at the bottom here, which is dramatic. I'm pretty sure Regina has that on one of her tops, doesn't she? Something's dramatic. Just basically wearing up these shades so that I don't lose the intensity of them. 
I don't want it being too in your face. Yeah, it, it, it was a good film. My daughter really, really liked it. I mean, she's probably about, I don't know, if about 11, right through to secondary. Because I do remember actually buying her a palette and it was by Storybook Cosmetics. And basically the same idea, designed to look like the burn book. And she really, really liked it a lot at the time. I'm just going to run this pink here under my eye. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll take a flat brush I'm just going to go in with my finishing strokes I feel like they go on better when you wet them and I'm going to go into this one here which is called Really Pretty and that's what Regina says to Katie so you think you're really pretty Girl, is it? I was more at that age, I was watching, was I watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> Sarah Michelle Geller. I'd probably dress more like her with the little skips and the boots and things and crosses around my neck. <laughs> and then I'm going to go into this one. And that is called I'm a Houseman, which Regina's mum. Bells the Girls, <laughs> with her juicy couture tracks on. I do remember that. <laughs> and what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to put a few outfits together and I'll, I'll showcase them all that I think is very sort of, you could get, you, you know, you could see people wearing that on Mean Girls, definitely. I mean, the outfit that I've got on, Karen wears a pink top with a bow on it. I think it's when they're wearing pink on a Wednesday. I think that looks okay. Uh, we will now go into the blush palette and it's like a cream blush. And I think what I'm going to do is mix these two together basically. Take a little bit of that and then a little bit of that and go back and forth and we'll just that. Like so. I have done a look with this palette, it's not up on YouTube yet, um, I don't know if any of you saw my Instagram or my TikTok but it is up on there, probably quite similar to the look that I'm doing right now, we will do something different for the next look. I'm just going to take, this is um, an Odin's Eye highlighter from their Storming 2 collection, I'll just show you like so. And just take a little brush. Just and then I'm going to take, it's like a liquid lipstick and it's got the R for Regina on it, kind of similar to what she wears around her neck. And this shade is in Karen and I think you get Regina and Gretchen and they're different colours. Um, it's like, kind of like a gloss I would say, and it's got like a sort of a fruity smell. And it's quite tingly, but that sort of cool and tingly. Next I'm going to take my Lash Princess Mascara. Yeah, this is uh, take two on this because somebody tried to call me during it as and it was ringing on my phone and it totally, I don't know, cancelled out my video that I was doing. 
very annoying. <laughs> cancel it through my watch but I don't know I must have done something and it's just totally <laughs> messed up the video And this is the first look using Revolution's Mean Girls Burn Book. So far, I really, really like it. The mats are blending really, really well. The shimmers are probably more like your traditional shimmer. They're not, I mean, I have got, you know, indie brands that do better shimmer shades that are like multi-chromes, but they're okay. You know, they're okay. But what I'll do is I will jump off, take this look off, and I will be back to film the next look. I'm back again. Uh, this is the first outfit that I had on with the first look that I did. It's, I've got like a pink top on and a little black skirt. I think it's very mean girls. And I've paired it with a pair of uh, knee high boots. I think it's very, yeah, mean girls. You wear pink on a Wednesday. Um, but I'm going to show you a few different outfits that I think, yeah, you can see them wearing it on mean girls, definitely. Just changing to the next outfit. This is another outfit that I put on. I think it's very sort of like something that Gretchen would wear. I noticed that she had on like a sort of a Burberry skirt a couple of times through the film. She wears one like this, but I think she's got it on with a t-shirt with a slogan. I don't know t-shirts with slogans anymore, I'm too old. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is very Gretchen. And again, I've just got it on with my black boots. When I wear this, I tend to wear this usually in the winter with a pair of thick tights. But you could wear it probably like this, which, you know. But anyway, I'll switch into another outfit. This is another one that's probably very sort of Gretchen and mm -hmm. in with the sort of Burberry kind of tarry. Uh, very, <laughs> yeah, mean girls again. Um, I'll just change into my last outfit. This is the last outfit. I'll wear this in the second look, which you'll get to see after all my outfits. This is very, you know, we wear pink on Wednesday. Some of the outfits that I've had on, you've maybe seen them in one of my other videos. I did a video, you know, clueless and legally blonde clothing. Um, some of them, yeah, I mean, all these films were all sort of 90s. Y2K, yeah, you know. So, you know, I mean, personally, I thought I was a vampire slayer back then <laughs> in my early 20s. So I did wear all the little pleated skirts and the little jumpers and the knee-high boots and things like that. So, yeah, they all kind of sort of fall under the same fashion sense I think. But anyway, this is the last outfit and you'll now get to see me doing the second makeup look. Bye! Hi and I'm back again. I was going to go and curl my hair but just I'll keep it straight. <laughs> uh, and I've changed my outfit. I'm in another pink outfit which is probably again very mean girls. So we're just going to get stuck right into the next look using the burn book and I think we'll go for more of like a cut casey kind of look I think this time and I think we will go into this one here which is called Popular and we'll just map out the shape of the other one the same at the other side. But yeah, Mean Girls is one of these films you could watch it over and over and over. You just, you just, in my opinion, you can't get sick of it. It's, it's, you know, always funny, you know, a lot of things that they say in it that's quite funny that you could still to this day picture a lot of teenagers doing, <laughs> you know, behind other teenagers and backs and things. Uh, Regina George, for example, when she first meets Katie, uh, she tells her that her bangle is really, really pretty. 
and then obviously as I become friends more and more, um, I'm now sorry, I'm now going into this one below, which is called The Real Pink. She, uh, we're bumping to another girl in the hallway, and Regina stops up to tell her that her skin, her skirt's really, really pretty, and uh, when she walks away, she's like, that's the effing ugliest skirt I've ever seen. <laughs> And uh, then Katie has like a flashback of her saying the same thing about her bangle, so she's like, hmm. <laughs> a few people being like that. With me in the past, and you just kind of wonder, you're like, two faced gets. <laughs> Teenagers just don't change, they're just this, always the same. It's mainly jealousy and feeling threatened when, you know. That I, when I think back on things like that, that I encountered. Definitely. And then I'm going to take another fluffy brush and I'm going to go into this one just to soften it up because I do feel like maybe just a little bit too. Back in I now feel like I've got, I'm wiping the ground. <laughs> I've maybe used a, a too big fluffy brush. I'll go back in again. Top, top that one on the floor. And I'll... I think it teaches girls about, you know, being horrible to their friends. It's not always a good way to be, you know, talking about them behind their backs, etc. We've all experienced that, pretty sure of it. I certainly have. And this time around, I think we're going to try this purple one. I'm just going to take a bit of my fixing spray. experience people being quite mean behind their backs at school, etc. That purple one is called Struggling to read that one, sorry guys. Because it's printed in gold, <laughs> really small writing. I, I, some of them I've been able to see, but some of them I just can't. I'll try again. Get in, loser. Oh, yeah. She says that to Katie for getting into the car when they're going shopping. I'm just going to put that white one. This one in the corners again. And that one's called Really Pretty. And I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to run that pink shade here. And run it. So. back into the blush palette and I think I'm just going to do the same that I did in the first look. Because they are quite pigment and it's really, really good. They're quite nice. I do prefer powder. But it's just, everybody's got a different preference but they are quite nice. It's fine. And then it's 
take the liquid lipstick thing again. It's got the R on it from Regina. that this is okay it's got quite a nice smell it's not my favorite kind of thing. i prefer more of a matte finish i don't like things that are sticky and i feel that like that's quite sticky i don't want my hair blowing into my lips and sticking to my lips but it is nice i'll probably give it to my daughter uh, and then we'll go back into that highlighter again from odin's eye if i could open it Essence Lash Princess Mascara that you can get, I'm pretty sure, for just under £4 off of Just My Look. I really like it, it does what I want it to do, it lengthens and separates my lashes. And I'm just going to go into my Dual Lash Glue again. I do think Mean Girls is one of these films, you know, you could just put it on and have a girly night or whatever. Or even if you're just sitting in on your own with your pyjamas and a cup of tea or something, you know. It's one of those films you can just put on and it's a, a feel-good movie, is it? It's like Legally Blonde, Clueless, all these kind of ones, House Bunny. <laughs> They're very, you know, girly. Grease. <laughs> Dirty dancing. They're all, they're all the same sort of idea. I think I might just put a little bit more mascara on. This is the second look using the one book by Revolution um, and it's the final look as well. <laughs> um, I really like it a lot. Um, the mattes blend really really well. The shimmers are okay, they're nothing spectacular, they're like your traditional shimmer but they're okay. Um, I do like it and I like how it looks like the burn book and it's padded, it's got a little mirror in there. I do like the little liquid lipstick with the R on it for Regina. I think that's really, really cute. I even would say that the cream blushes are really, really nice and they're very pigmented. I will say that. I think it's altogether, yeah, really, really nice collection. Anyway, if you've liked this look, please like my video. Um, leave a comment. Tell me which look you like the best, the first one or the second one. And who was your favourite character in Mean Girls? Um, comment below. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, like this video. Leave a comment. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.